you remember that container ship, the Ever Given, that got stuck in the Suez Canal back in 2021? The final report into what happened came out a few months ago, as I record this, and there were a lot of things that went wrong. It was travelling too fast, there were communications problems between the crew and the local pilots, and there was the bank effect. There are two ways to learn what that is. You can get the theoretical explanation that big ships get sucked to the sidewalls by pressure differences when travelling at speed along canals. But if that seems a bit abstract, you can learn it hands-on. Because this is the Port Iwawa Ship Handling Research and Training Centre in the north of Poland. And this is one of the places where the folks who steer those big ships learn how to do it. Just to be clear, I'm not getting a full training course. That takes days and includes a huge amount of theory work and study as well. I'm just going to drive a miniature container ship for a lap round the lake and hopefully not get it stuck in the Suez Canal. We have started our training activity in 1980. In 90s, we have moved from the old lake towards this one and practically first training here was realized in 1991, more or less 30 years ago. We are performing training in ship handling. We have a lot of different mock-ups presenting different waterways. Everything was built using exactly the same scale, 1 to 24, deep waters, shallow waters, different restrictions, rivers, canals, and what is more important, of course, ship models. Permission to come aboard? Granted. <laughs> okay. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's one of the biggest in the world. 400 so, meter ship. 400 meter. Hmm. Scaled down one in 24, that's still... 16 and a half. That's... okay, this is big. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we can proceed. Dead slow ahead. So, dead slow ahead? Yeah and steady as she goes forward. <laughs> I assume that means just keep it going straight, okay. These are the tugboat simulators. Oh, I don't feel guilty about you, um, you've taken the controls <laughs> here. No, I'd be on tugboats coming out. I was meant to be asking all sorts of questions here and I'm just slightly nervous about <laughs> driving a tiny boat. <laughs> it's uh, not a tiny boat, it's a 400 meters container ship. Yeah, so you have controls there that simulate the effect of tugs on the Right, boat. four okay. tugs. You may make a rather hard to port. Hard to port? Oh. I don't know why, but I thought I was going to spin that like the wheel of a pirate ship and it's just a... Yeah. It's... All right, so what's our plan now? Okay, so now we can go through the lock if you like. Yeah, absolutely. Basically we go that direction, so yeah. south of the island. I feel like I need to go left here. Yeah, make it port, port 10. Port, not left. We have had, in our history, more than 6,000 pilots, masters and chief officers from more than 50 countries. In average, 220, 230 a year. We have beginners, but we have also very experienced masters. Because uh, lock is uh, very shallow, yeah. we will have only two centimeters of water under the keel. Yeah. If we have too high speed, we touch the bottom. So the faster I go in shallow water, the more the boat is going to get yeah, sucked down to the ground. More, more squat you have, yeah. Okay. We have to come in the line with the lock. Oh! Sooner we do that, more time we have to apply yeah. any correction if necessary. That is such a tight spot yeah. to oh, navigate to. Hard to starboard for a while. Hard starboard, to star starboard. Oh. <laughs> so the minute I feel like I've got this, it's all going to fall apart. Uh, midships? Yes, please. Yeah. And starboard. starboard 20. Yep. And midships. midships. Yep. Oh, I think I've overcorrected there. There's some very strong work being done by the tugboats yeah. here. Thank you. We have no clearance here. I feel like starboard slightly. Yeah, starboard 20. Starboard 20. Mm, I can't see how close we are there. Did we clear that? Yes. I think we cleared that. Yes. <laughs> Again, solid tugboat work. Uh, midships, starboard. surely. Starboard 20. Okay. The basic training program takes five days. A liner scale 1 to 24 means that time scale is equal to more or less five. It means everything happens five times faster than in reality. And feeling for a ship uh, may be affected. It is disadvantage. But from other hand, five days of training will correspond to 25 days of training in reality. Hard to starboard. Hard to starboard. More the helmsman than the captain at this point, thank you. Hard to port again. Hard to port, left hand down a bit. Yeah. Okay, I think we can make uh, half ahead. Half ahead. We are clear of the lock. Oh yeah. 
Whew. Full ahead. Full ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Did I need to slam that forward so dramatically? Absolutely not, mm. but... Our first models were really very simple. Nothing inside. Just the wheel, engine telegraph, and that's it. And step by step, we have started to add different facilities. We have electronic navigation. It means very precise uh, GPS system, which allows to measure a given ship model trajectory with precision equal to one, maybe two centimeters. <laughs> Suddenly the nerves have gone. That's, that's, that's open, uh, open ocean, open, open lake. Starboard 10. Starboard 10, because you've got to cancel out what you've just given it, right? Have, yeah, yeah. We're still going quite strongly to port just because that input from... The wind. Ages the, ago. And the wind? To the wind, yeah. Okay. I'm amazed how much the wind is affecting yeah. this. You have to imagine that such a ship fully loaded has about 20,000 square meters of the windage area. Everything during uh, exercises is measured, sent towards classroom, and in case of problems, we can discuss step by step, and we can show where mistakes were made. Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted by a current. Um. <laughs> current, especially in case of shallow water, it's a big problem. It means we have current generators. This current velocity can be changed according to our needs. I thought we hit something. That, oh, we did. That's that's me. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> it's not like this thing has rear view mirrors. Okay. Half ahead. Half ahead. We're sailing a massive container ship down the Suez Canal. Do you want me to put a little bit of rudder in here? Yeah, it's fine. Now okay. we have to go behind Varta. Right. You can make a port 10. Port 10. Got it. I think we're clearing the red buoy. Midship. Midship. No, no, it's clear. Okay. Port, Port 20. Port 20. Midships. Midships. Okay. And a full ahead. Full ahead. Okay. Starboard 20. Starboard 20, because we've got to ease out the you Then you will start feeling the bunk effect from the yeah. starboard wall. Okay. Bar to starboard. So it feels like I could go midships now. We should just go straight down the middle of this canal, except... In the bunk effect, you see, the bow is coming out. It means the yeah. repu repulsion force so, pushes uh, the bow. Now you have to right. make a hard starboard. to starboard. Hard to starboard. God, yeah, I mean, sucked towards the port wall. I'm putting full right lock on here. Midships. Midships. Okay. You see, again, it's coming. Yep. It is. So we have to make a hard to starboard. Hard to starboard. Yeah, if but I don't do hard to starboard. You would have hit this one. This yeah. Wall. I'm absolutely going to ram that if we're not careful. Yeah. That's and so midship. powerful. You yeah. Uh, yeah, hard to start. Hard to start, but I was midships. We should have been going straight ahead, and I, I see. think I have to help. Yeah, with the you're going to have to help with that. I should have done that earlier. Everybody down. Clear. Oh, clear. Midship. <laughs> hard to port. No. Hard to port. <laughs> we were lucky. One inch. Clear. That was that was more luck than good judgment. That was. Our research is focused on ship handling. It means interaction forces, and autonomous ships. We have started uh, realization of research programs three or four years ago because autonomous ships will be really very popular. We need at least ten ships lengths yeah. to stop the ship. And ten our ships lengths? And that harbour is here. Oh, I definitely need to put some port in. Yes. Hard port to 20. Port, hard. hard to port. Okay. Everything in case of our training center is realized in real conditions. You can feel very well wind, you can feel very well current, and everything what deals with weather conditions. Such a situation does not happen in case when using computer simulators. And especially pilots coming to our training center for training prefer very often to use models instead of computer simulation. Every driver's instinct in me is going, oh, I can just slam it in reverse, <laughs> take it round, it'll be fine. No, it won't. That's not how this works. Collisions really occur at our training center. The main difference regarding computers and our models is in computers, in case of problems, you can switch off everything and you can restart everything. That's okay. In the case of our training center, the only one thing to do is to call technical <laughs> staff for rescue tax and quite often our models are sent directly from the training center to our shipyard 
for different repairing works. And this psychological effect influences very much level of education. People realize everything a little bit differently when comparing with computer simulators. All right, we, we are home. <laughs> that was a privilege. Thank you very, very much. I know very few people You're get to welcome. do that. You're so welcome. Not thank a problem. You so much. Here, every instructor can do that <laughs> very easily. <laughs>